if you want to touch the life positively of a billion people, you need to take risk. You need to do something very hard. You need to, at some level, create magic. So what is the magic you are going to create? As you know, we are in the field of uh, healthcare and data. So we sell healthcare data to pharmaceutical company and uh, we sell software. What we've decided to do uh, for the next step is to focus on the field of cancer and to focus on new technology, new software and artificial intelligence to do things with cancer data that cannot be done today. There are so many types of cancers, so many drugs. In the last six years, there have been 77 new drugs approved for cancer. 77. We have an uh, advisory board of oncologists. And what they're telling us is that we need new tools. We need new technology to decide what drug to give to what patient for what cancer type based on the mutations they have in their tumor. That's called precision medicine or precision oncology. If you try to figure out what drug to use based on what mutation for what patient, it's like driving in Boston without Google Map. You cannot do it. So what we're doing is that we're building the Google Map, the ways for cancer data. Other companies did that before, like IBM with Watson. Can you compete with that? Yes. <laughs> Okay, good. Well, let me elaborate a little bit. Okay. Um, first, it's so important that there should be a ton of competition, and there is. This is not going to be a problem that is going to be solved in the next months or even years. It's going to take a long, long time, and many companies are going to help in different ways. So, yes, Watson is one company, and there are others as well. What you know is that the big companies often haven't been the one who find these big uh, changes. Uh, in a way, remember, IBM could not, despite all the money in the world, develop an operating system. Microsoft did it. And then Microsoft had all the money in the world. They could not develop a browser. Google did it. And then Google had all the money in the world. They couldn't develop social. The big companies have a tough time, despite all the resources in the world. And this field is so important that it's going to keep us busy for forever. Think about the analogy of climbing the Mount Everest, right? We're all at base camp right now, whether it's IBM or anybody else. Nearly everybody is going through the North Face. And the North Face is to try to gather huge amount of patient data and to analyze it with TensorFlow or other types of machine learning approaches. And this is fine. This is not what we're doing. But first, we don't have enough money. But also, we think there's something very smart that nobody seems to be doing. And it is to take all of the data from the clinical trials that you can find publicly and to clean it up, to organize it neatly, and then to have different kind of tools to extract knowledge from the clinical trial data. And to do that, you need to allow perhaps not Apple to orange comparison, but then perhaps Apple to pair. So you can compare some trials and not some others. Very hard work mm. that requires people with super high level of education with the patience of taking a bunch of articles about cancer and going through it and extracting the data from clinical trials in cancer. That's how we're going to climb the Everest from the south side <laughs> and, and beat IBM and all of the other companies that are trying on the north side. Mm -hmm. Beat IBM or they are going to buy you? Uh, well, <laughs> I don't think so. We might buy them. They're not going to buy us. No, no, no. I'm not going to let IBM buy us. Okay. I just ask. We wanted to invest in AI and virtual reality, two technologies that we wanted to not only apply to our field, but really innovate about. I hired two teams, one in California, one in France, and I told them, take that data set and build an approach, any, any approach you want. You pick the technology. You compete in a friendly way with each other. We call that the battle of the chefs. Le combat des chefs, en français. 
that worked so well. They competed for months. They did wonderful work. And the outcome was, was very impressive. At the end of that one month, we said, from now on, we're going to be the collaboration of the chefs. So this month, the two AI team are collaborating together to get to the next level. One of our AI products for cancer is going to be free. I know if I'm, that I'm successful if oncologists are using the free product. My wife uh, at her hospital, she's a physician, they use a AI a little bit uh, in some fashion. The AI sent one of her patients to hospice as if that patient was dying. And so my wife said, well, my patient is not dying. What's going on here? AI has to prove itself with the medical community. So success is going to be if we use. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the best answer ever. Let me ask again. Is it a critical decision or could you do without it? It's a critical decision. Hmm. Careers are short. We don't have so much time to have an impact. We need to take risks. It could very well fail. It could be that the data we have at the end is absolutely useless. It could be that as we try to climb the south side of the Everest, we fall to our death. <laughs> But we're not going to stay at base camp. I have very limited interest to go on the north side, where everybody's climbing together. Uh, they don't need us. We need to do something different. <laughs> As you can see, I'm putting the, uh, the French revolutionary beret here, uh, Che Larvol. Che Guélarvol. Che Guélarvol, yeah. <laughs>